Hi, it's me, Reynard Wilson, with another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the weekly show in which I, Reynard Wilson, being of sound mind and body, bequeath unto you, dear listener, the life and legacy of one man. His name is Mark Steele, and he's been described as Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. But I think after today's episode, you'll be laughing on the other side of your face, whatever that means, because today Mark Steele finally has the evidence. Yes, the evidence to prove that his theories were right all along. Obviously, anybody who's following the videos will know that we've gotten a massive download of evidence in relation to the planned attack on the country, all right, using these, because uh, obviously we know 5G is a weapon, we've said that on a number of occasions now, we've now got the documentary evidence of the local attack configuration and how it's going to be carried out. But This all took place in October 2020. In the UK, we were in the middle of the COVID pandemic and we actually had a lockdown, which meant that we all had to stay at home. It meant we all had rather a lot of time to kill. Uh, and some people were going a, a bit crazy, shall we say. Um, <clears throat> it was a combination of those two factors that created the circumstances that led up to, to this moment when our friend Mark Steele believed that he had come across some very important evidence. Right. Let's just go through, because we've still got a load of Downton Thomases. Well, I'm pretty sure they're not Downton Thomases anymore. I think they're just showing their hands, their state actors. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these groups show their hand quite quickly because they don't want to talk about 5G, and they definitely don't want me talking about 5G because I know what I'm talking about. Au contraire, Mark Steele. <laughs> it's exactly what we wanted him talking about because he's so funny. Uh, <laughs> We were bored. We were stuck at home. We had nothing to do. And then along came that little shining light that was Mark Steele, who, who made all of our lockdowns so much more enjoyable by talking utter nonsense. And so an idea popped into our heads. Could we give Mark Steele something that uh, made him even funnier? Yes, really interesting piece of documentary evidence from the IEA, right? Well, what they're saying here, right? Massive scale urban pace of pacification. That's to pacify the population. That's why nobody's jumping around going man mental. Proposing the control system for street lighting and other commonplace street furniture, okay? Once again, we can employ a large consumer grade network of transducers, each with volley mounted Fresnel antenna. Volley mounted Fresnel antennas. I remember actually writing those words thinking this sounds like plausible but nonsense. It turned out later on that actually Fresnel antennas are real things. Uh, it's just that um, I didn't know that at the time. But uh, I don't think there's such a thing as a volley mount. I think that's entirely fictional and long may it remain so. But um, if you have ever encountered a volley mounted Fresnel antenna, do please leave a comment because I want to know. The, uh, the transductance below the critical threshold, because obviously if they want to kill you, right, what's going to be quite interesting is whole population would need to be inoculated. So the whole population would need to be vaccinated by a resonance enhancer. So that's the tungsten and the mic and the, and the uh, tungsten nanoparticles and the aluminium nanoparticles in the vaccine. That's why they want you to get the vaccine, right? Because I plan to kill you. Uh, as far as Mark was concerned, he had found the smoking gun. This was proof that all of his theories were correct, that 5G really was a directed energy weapon. It really was activated by uh, the COVID vaccine. All of these things that he had been saying, well, uh, according to this document, it was all true. Right, now, this is all a part of the document. See, the British M Ministry of Defence concluded quite correctly, but such a system could be blended into normal communications infrastructure. Look there, what does it say? What have I been telling you? Ear kill grid. 
a volley-mounted Fresnel antenna kill grid. It's, it's too horrible to countenance, and fortunately, none of it was real. It's, it was an entirely fictional document that we made up to, uh, to see how confused Mark Steele was, to see if he would apply any critical thinking at all upon receipt of this evidence. Well, <laughs> clearly he didn't. The fact that we get these trolls persuade the public that I'm not correct. It states it's indistinguishable from what is claimed to be until the very moment of its activation. All right? Indistinguishable from what it claimed to be. So, Light Control Management Systems, Gated Council, you criminals. Those of you who've been with the channel since 2020 know how this story ended, but for the rest of you, I'll explain. The document and pretty much everything in it was a hoax. It was written by MC Toon and uh, a few people such as myself who assisted. I I'm very proud to be part of that group. It was full of all kinds of nonsense. We, we made it sound like a, a plausibly technical thing, but we added a, a whole load of silly things to it. Things that anybody with an ounce of critical thinking ability would be able to detect the difference. But, but no, we, we, we were sure that Mark Steele would be so eager to, to receive this document that he wouldn't spend uh, the slightest minute thinking about whether it might not be true. This one here, he later, he talks about this, he calls it an IEEE, -E -E, which nobody, nobody who works in the industry calls it IEEE, -E -E. everybody calls it IEEE. -E. Anyway, so this particular document uh, talks about meta bisturbile radar, meta, meta bisturbile, nice. it's not a word. Uh, the phrase meta bisturbile is an entirely nonsense phrase which was lifted from a British TV comedy called Brass Eye. Oh, and luckily the story involves these people. Free the United Kingdom from drugs and British opposition to metabolically bisturbile drugs. Ted Moore reports. And the gist of this sketch is that the newsreader, played by Chris Morris, is uh, introducing an entirely fictitious drug scare and he gets a whole load of unwary British celebrities to repeat a whole load of nonsense phrases uh, as part of some kind of public service announcement. It's, it's very funny, but the irony was not lost on us because we had got Mark Steele to do precisely the same thing. He was uncritically repeating a thing because it confirmed all of his own biases. This, these underlines are from Mark. Right. The British Ministry of Defense concluded quite correctly that such a system could blah, blah, blah. Uh, a kill grid built from non-ionizing civilian operators and then in parentheses, large arrays. Well, <clears throat> this was my addition right there. Let me let me make this a little bigger so you can see here. What does that say? Non-ionizing civilian operators, large arrays. What does that spell out, Mark? That spells out Nicola. Nicola? Nicola. Not sure of the pronunciation. That would be the name of the girl Mark shot in the head in 1993. And those were just two of many, many Easter eggs that had been planted into this document. The idea being to see just how absurd we could make things before Mark Steele would notice. This is awesome. The first author of the document, Mark, is Dr. Casper Darling from the our from the video game Control. The second character author is Dr. Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. And this is my favorite. The third author is Dr. Yukinari Okido from Pokemon. <laughs> Western fans of the Pokemon franchise will know that third author as Professor Oak, the character who gives the player a choice of Squirtle, Bulbasaur or Charmander uh, when, they, when you begin your adventure. But unfortunately, Professor Oak is not a source of, uh, of information about radio frequency engineering or directed energy weapons, a, a, a fact that must have caused Mark some dismay and, and maybe even embarrassment. <laughs> no, of course not. Mark wasn't embarrassed in the least because in his worldview, being proven entirely wrong 
is, is actually proof that you're getting it right. Right. The fact is, the had actually getting that document. Mickey did. Now, think about this. What sort of psyop is this? So that working with the Chinese to try and discredit me from telling people that 5G is a weapon. So you see that in a panic. I don't panic about things like this. In fact, I thought it was quite interesting, quite clever, quite a clever psyop. But you see, whenever you get this type of steered craft, what it shows, what over the target. Whenever you're over the target, you get a lot of flack. So all that does is confirms we are over the target. So the fact that Mark had been proven completely wrong and had been taken in by entirely fictitious documents written by video game characters was in actual fact proof that all of his theories were 100% correct. Well, I can't see a problem at all with that kind of logic, can you? <laughs> but let's leave the final word on this subject to Mark Steele himself. Now, obviously if it's been doctored, to show that it's a weapon, and it's not a weapon, well, I would identify it as a weapon, because that's what I am, a weapons expert. So I identified the documents as bona fide, as they are, as a weapon. Simple. Well, hasn't this been another exciting episode of Mind of Steel? And maybe you ought to take the time to decide whether you think that Mark Steele is an innocent victim of a Satanist cabal who wants to silence his truth-telling about the dangerous, deadly 5G network. Or is Mark Steele a uh, gullible fantasist who is taken in by a clearly implausibly fake document that even a child should have been a bit sceptical of? <laughs> who knows? I like to keep an open mind about such topics, but one thing I'm certain of is that there will be another episode of Mind of Steel real soon. When I was making that video, I forgot to tell you the most important thing, which is that if you want to see the original video from October 2020, where MC Toon completely obliterates the reputation of Mark Steele, just click on this link. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful video. There's, there's lots more to the story than I had time to tell you, and I really think it's worth your time watching it. So please, be my guest. It's all yours. You can thank me later. <laughs>